Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today we're talking about another amino acid. This one is called NAC for short. The long name is N-acetyl-L-cysteine and how this could possibly be a helpful treatment in anxiety, depression, bipolar, and even schizophrenia, as well as addictions. So we got a long list here. This is an amino acid that can be taken as a supplement. It's also found in a lot of the things that we eat. It can be found online or at your local health food store, and you should be able to buy, you know, little capsules uh, like most supplements, uh, look for NAC. So there's some positive evidence behind NAC for a multitude of psychiatric conditions, including the ones listed above, bipolar disorder, major depressive disorder, schizophrenia, addictions, and anxiety. So the question is, how does it work? And how can we break down these effects? So first off, NAC has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. So many of you may have heard about, you know, inflammatory things causing depression, anxiety, and that maybe there's some inflammation at the root cause of those disorders. If that theory proves out to be correct, then it just further proves that NAC could be an effective treatment for these things. As far as the antioxidant effects go, NAC can help protect the liver from pollutants, chemicals, medications, and alcohol, improve respiratory health, and boost immune function. NAC is commonly administered in emergency rooms to treat acetaminophen overdoses. So another benefit of NAC is it helps the brain by boosting production of a chemical called glutathione, uh, which has neurotransmitter properties. So it can help regulate the brain's dopamine levels as well as glutamate levels. This is what glutathione does. Either of these neurotransmitters, dopamine or glutamate, uh, can be linked to the disorders mentioned above, and uh, altering their release and balance can help re-regulate the brain. So there have been quite a few studies that support the use of NAC, although many are still preliminary and need further validation from other scientific studies. One such study that I want to talk about here, and this can be found on the National Institute of Health.gov, and I'll, I'll post the links, like always, down in the description, so you can check these out for yourself. N-acetylcysteine, NAC, appears to be promising in the treatment of several psychiatric disorders. Many of the psychiatric dis disorders discussed have shown only preliminary data regarding the efficacy of NAC in their treatment, and further research is required. However, NAC appears to be a promising therapeutic target and provides a window of treatment opportunity in a field where current treatments are limited or have remained suboptimal as many of us know. A common link in treatment efficacy may be oxidative stress, which has been shown to be altered in most of these disorders. So again, that ties back to the antioxidant effects of NAC. So continuing, similarly, the modulation of inflammatory pathways, as I mentioned above, may also play a role in the benefits seen following NAC treatment. The role of inflammation in depression has received the greatest attention. However, inflammatory pathways are implicated in the etiology of other disorders such as schizophrenia. So again, I'll leave a link to that full article down below so you can, you can check that out, read the full thing for yourself. So this is something that I've been doing a lot of, of research and, and thought about, um, you know, because these amino acids are something that's cheap. You can easily find them as supplements. You can find food sources that are rich in them, and they have these positive effects. So just in closing here, I want to kind of mention why maybe these things, you know, aren't out in the scientific community, why maybe your doctor doesn't know about all these things, uh, whatever. Uh, I ask myself these questions a lot of the time. Um, you know, pharmaceutical companies obviously don't make much money off something so cheap as and acetyl L-cysteine. So they don't put a lot of time and energy into researching these things. And as far as like medications go that are like well researched and established, you know, they, they can make lots of money off of those. You know, they sell the medication and before their patent expires, they're making, they could make billions of dollars. Um, and that's just not the case with other things like this. 
so it's definitely something worth looking into and maybe understanding why it's not out in the scientific community, why it's not in the medical community uh, that often, because there's not a lot of benefit. And I wouldn't even say that it's that these people don't care. I just think that that's not, you know, everything's kind of money driven. And so if there's not money to be made on it, maybe there's not a lot of time spent there. But again, check, check this out. Check out NAC. Check out these articles that I'll link below. And uh, maybe it's an option for you. Ask your doctor about it. See if it's something that will work with you, with your combination of medications or, or whatever you're doing at this point. And if you've enjoyed this content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. We talk about all things mental health. And thank you so much for watching this video with the Anxious Resistance.